Hello and welcome to the CTO show with Mehmet. My name is Mehmet and in each episode I will be exploring the latest trends, insights and strategies in topics like cybersecurity, digital transformation, emerging tech, startups and entrepreneurship. From thought leaders and innovators to entrepreneurs and founders, we will hear from experts across a wide range of industries who are driving change and making an impact in the world of tech and business. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get started. Welcome back. In today's episode, I want to discuss and explore the fascinating universe of extended reality or XR for short. We will unravel its origins, evolution, real world applications, and the breathtaking future it promises. So buckle up and let's get started. To begin with, let's clarify what extended reality or XR refers to. It's an umbrella term that covers a spectrum of technologies that alter our perception of reality. This includes virtual reality, VR, augmented reality, AR, and mixed reality, MR. Now, VR is all about immersion. It disconnects us from our physical surroundings and transports us into entirely digital environments. Think about strapping on a VR headset to explore the ruins of Machu Picchu or venturing into a fantastical gaming world. In contrast, AR layers digital information onto our physical world. If you have ever used a Snapchat filter or caught a Pikachu in your living room playing Pokemon Go, you've used AR. MR is where the physical and digital worlds collide. It allows digital and physical objects to coexist and interact in real time. This makes it possible to manipulate a holographic object right from your living room. How did this technology evolve? The seeds of XR technologies were sown decades ago with the concept of VR dating back to the 1960s. The first flight simulator, arguably a form of a VR, came from the aviation industry in the 1980s while AR and MR emerged later around the late 90s and early 2000s. The real push that brought these technologies into the limelight was the smartphone revolution and the rapid advancement in computing power. These developments have made XR technologies more accessible and user-friendly than ever before. Let's look at the use cases. Today, the applications of XR technologies span across diverse sectors. In the gaming industry, which is the most known ones, VR has been a game changer, pun intended, providing fully immersive experiences that place gamers directly into the game's environment. AR, on the other hand, has brought gaming into our physical world, merging the boundaries between reality and the digital real. But it's not all fun and games. The education sector is leveraging XR to make learning more engaging and impactful. Students can now take a tour of the solar system or walk through the human circulatory system all from the comfort of their classrooms. In healthcare, XR technologies are transforming both patient care and medical education. Surgeons are using VR to plan and practice complex procedures while AR is being used for real-time information during surgeries. On the patient side, VR is being used for physical and cognitive therapy, offering an engaging and controlled environment for treatment. That's not all. In the world of business, XR is revolutionizing processes and customer experiences. Retailers are using AR to allow customers to virtually try on clothes or preview how furniture might look in their homes. As usual, I always ask, what will happen in the future and what could be an intersection with other technologies? 
With all these advancements, we are merely scratching the surface of what's possible with XR. The future promises an even tighter integration of these technologies in our daily lives, the inception of which we are already seeing with the development of the metaverse. The metaverse, although like some people still doubting what happened to it, is essentially a collective virtual shared space created by the convergence of virtuality, enhanced physical reality, and physical persistent in virtual spaces, including the sum of all virtual worlds, augmented reality, and the internet. Here, the lines between VR, AR, and MR are blurred with users interacting in a fully immersive internet. Moreover, the convergence of XR with AI and 5G is set to unlock new possibilities. AI can make XR experiences more interactive and personalized, while 5G, and in the future, of course, 6G, high-speed, low-latency connectivity can enable seamless, real-time XR experiences. One example is the use of AI in VR to create intelligent virtual agents or avatars that can interact with users in natural, human-like manner. Similarly, in AR, AI can help recognize and understand real-world objects to create more accurate and relevant digital overlays. As for the intersection of XR, for example, with blockchain, consider the concept of virtual goods, where users can own and trade digital assets in the virtual world, a concept gaining traction in the form of NFTs or non-fungible tokens. In conclusion, Extended reality is more than just a technology. It's a new medium, a new way to interact with both the digital and physical worlds. While we've come a long way since the inception of these technologies, we are still in the early stages of realizing their full potential. As we continue to advance and these technologies become even more integrated in our lives, the line between our physical reality and the digital realm will continue to blur. And in this evolving landscape, one thing is clear. Extended reality is set to redefine our perception of reality. Thank you very much for listening to this episode today. As usual, if you have any feedback, any question about this episode or the show in general, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I would be more than happy to discuss with you if you are interested also to be a guest on the show, please don't hesitate to reach out as well. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe if you are listening to the podcast for the first time. Tell your friends, family, and colleagues about it. Thank you very much. And until we meet in the next episode, bye-bye.